manufacturer doesn't have enough confidence in the quality of what he makes, he doesn't have the right to ask you to buy it. And it doesn't make any difference what he makes. Washing machines, toasters, or roller skates. Me? I'm in the car business. And I've been saying for a long time that Chrysler makes cars that are as good, if not better, than anything coming out of America, Europe, or Japan. In this episode of Business Executive Profiles, we will profile the achievements of Lee Iacocca, an American auto executive best known for the development of the Ford Mustang, Continental Mark III, and Ford Pinto. He is also credited with revitalizing the Chrysler Corporation while serving as its CEO in the 1980s. Iacocca wrote several books, including Where Have All the Leaders Gone? and Iacocca, an autobiography. Lido Anthony Iacocca was born in Allentown, Pennsylvania on October the 15th, 1924. He was the son of Italian immigrants. After his parents arrived in America, they settled in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Iacocca attended Allen High School, where he graduated with honors in 1942. He attended Lehigh University, where he graduated with a degree in industrial engineering. At Lehigh University, he became a member of Engineering Honor Society Tau Beta Pi and Theta Chi fraternity. After graduating from Lehigh, he won the Wallace Memorial Fellowship and went to Princeton University, where he earned a master's degree in mechanical engineering in 1946. Iacocca then began his career at the Ford Motor Company in August 1946, working as an engineer. He moved into sales and marketing, where his career flourished. In 1956, Iacocca married Mary McClary on September 29, 1956. The couple had two daughters. While working in the Philadelphia district as assistant sales manager, Iacocca gained national recognition with his 56 for 56 campaign, offering loans on 1956 model year cars with a 20% down payment and $56 in monthly payments for three years. His campaign went national and Iacocca was called to the Dearborn headquarters where he quickly moved up through the ranks. On November the 10th, 1960, Iacocca was named vice president and general manager of the Ford division. In January, 1965, he was appointed to Ford's car and truck group as vice president. While at Ford, Iacocca participated in the design of the Ford Mustang, the Continental Mark III, the Ford Escort, and the revival of the Mercury brand in the late 1960s, including the introduction of the Mercury Cougar and the Mercury Marquis. In 1967, he became Ford's executive vice president and was promoted to president on December the 10th, 1970. After he became the president of the Ford Motor Company, he clashed with Henry Ford II. He was fired on July 13, 1978, even though the company posted a $2 billion profit for the year. Iacocca was recruited by Chrysler at a time when the company appeared to be on the verge of collapse. Iacocca joined Chrysler and began rebuilding the entire company. Realizing the company would go out of business if it did not receive a large infusion of cash, Iacocca approached the United States Congress in 1979 and successfully requested a loan guarantee. We either get a billion or in about 12 months you got 2.7 billion to take care of these people. In what? Not see the training. You won't train them fast enough. It's in welfare payments. As he rebuilt Chrysler, he would serve as the company's pitch man, delivering his famous slogan, if you can buy a better car, buy it. 
challenge you to compare their quality and technology to anything that comes out of Germany or Japan. There's this sporty coupe that's priced so that you won't go into sticker shock. And a four-door sedan that offers impressive gas mileage and six-passenger room. This handsome town and country, this dazzling convertible that puts a little fun back into driving. No cars are perfect, but these come pretty close. Drive them. See for yourself how quiet and smooth they are. If you don't agree they're the best Chrysler has ever made, the very best America has to offer at a sensible price, then I'm in the wrong business. Oh, one more thing. If you can find a better car, buy it. Iacocca's success serving as Chrysler's pitch man influenced other companies to feature executives in their marketing. Under Iacocca, Chrysler introduced the K-Car line, the Dodge Aries, and Plymouth Reliant in 1981. Iacocca brought the Mini Max project to Chrysler, which in 1983 later became the highly successful Dodge Caravan and Plymouth Voyager. Because of the K car and minivan sales, along with the cost cutting reforms Iacocca implemented, Chrysler became profitable and was able to repay the government back loans seven years earlier than expected. Unfortunately, Mary Iacocca died from diabetes on May 15, 1983. In 1984, he published Iacocca, an autobiography. Iacocca's second marriage was to Peggy Johnson. They married on April 17, 1986. But in 1987, after 19 months, Iacocca had the marriage annulled. He married for the last time in 1991. The couple divorced three years later. Lee Iacocca remained president and CEO of Chrysler until his retirement at the end of 1992. After retirement, Iacocca resided in Bel Air, California. In 2007, he published Where Have All the Leaders Gone? The book discusses the characteristics of a good leader. Iacocca details the following attributes for leadership. They include common sense, character, curiosity, creativity, communication, courage, conviction, charisma, competence, and the one he regards as the most important, crisis. Lee Iacocca died on July 2nd, 2019 at his home in Bel Air, California. He was 94 years old. At the time of his death, this son of immigrant parents had accumulated a net worth of $150 million. I mean, that's the American way. If little kids don't aspire to make money like I did, what the hell good is this country? Got to give him a role model, right? Thank you for watching this episode of Business Executive Profiles. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support this channel, please donate. Links to the Cash App and PayPal are in the description. Please stay tuned for future videos where we will profile more leaders in the business world.